Hi, this is Dr. Song. Today we're going to talk about repositioning an IOL that's tilted after Yamani scleral fixation. In this patient's case, the tilt occurred because the two needle entries weren't symmetrical. Let's take a look at how to handle this kind of situation. Since we need to redo the Yamani needling, it's better to use at least subtenant anesthesia rather than topical anesthesia. Right after injection, the intraocular pressure tends to rise, so make sure to perform some ocular massage. Here's the first needling point, and here's the second one, which ended up being positioned too superiorly. When the symmetry is off like this, the IOL naturally shifts off-center and causes tilting. The goal is to release the second needling point and reposition it to achieve proper symmetry. The problematic side wasn't clearly visible, so I placed an iris retractor for better access. To remove the flange, use a 27 gauge needle to scrape the conjunctiva and expose it. Then, with forceps, approach slightly further inward toward the sclera, making it easier to extract. The opposite side also needs to have its flange exposed in the same manner. This is necessary because the haptic length will become shorter, so the length must be adjusted equally on both sides. A good flange is one that is well buried in the sclera like this. Make a side incision in an appropriate position to allow the micro forceps. Prepare a 27 gauge needle by bending it with the bevel facing up. Insert the needle at the pre-marked point. creating a scleral tunnel that's not too short. There's a slight Sommerings ring present, which will need to be removed later if it affects the IOL positioning. Trim and remove the flange to prepare for re-needling. Using microforceps, remove the haptic from the sclera and reinsert it into the needle. The Sommerings ring is larger than expected, but for now, I'll fix the IOL and plan to remove the ring later if it affects the positioning. If you grip the central part of the haptic, the distance between the haptic tip and the forceps can become too long, making it hard to control and increasing the risk of breaking the haptic. Instead, hold it at an appropriate point, about two to three millimeters from the tip. It's sufficient to insert the haptic slightly into the needle. The fixation is stronger than expected, so there's no need to forcefully push it in too far. Oh, the iris retractor melted along with it. It seems much more heat sensitive than proline. I'll need to be more careful next time. Without panicking, use a Sinsky hook to gently release the iris retractor from the iris inside the eye and then remove it. Gently push the created flange into the sclera to embed it securely. To ensure symmetry on the opposite side, trim the flange to match the length. Create the same type of flange and embed it into the sclera. Remove the iris retractor and check the centering. It looks well aligned. The previously concerning Sommerings ring will not be removed as it seems unnecessary. Next, undo the previous sutures. Since there is slight conjunctival exposure at the second flange site, an additional suture with 8-0 Vicryl is placed to address it. The surgery is now complete. Thank you for watching.